Hello, good morning. We are on to another edition of Import Export Platform brought to you by Trade Invest Trade Academy. My name is Dele Aimibo. I'm sorry for coming in late. I had to have a short meeting with someone and that delayed me a little. Um, today we'll continue our conversation on the Imagine Support Services for Trade Customers. Imagine Support Services for Trade Customers. Uh, this is part three. I'm hoping we'll be able to finish for part four, part five. Um, we, the essence of this program is basically addressing two set of people, entrepreneurs and employees. Entrepreneurs who want to render support services, who are into services, maybe you're an accountant, you're a lawyer, you're into services, and you want to go beyond the accounting and legal profession into other areas of support services for businesses. And I'm saying you can begin to consider support services for import company and export company. Then on the flip side is for employees. Now, in this time around, I'm looking at employees that are in the uh, banking industry. Employees that are in the banking industry who have major work to do in getting deposit, uh, target, uh, deposit and income target. Who have deposit and income target that they need to do for their organization. They have deposit and income target they need to do for their organization. And I'm saying that, look, if you have deposit and income target for your organization, you can use the skill you are going to acquire as a trade person to be able to get that done. And that's why we are saying there are imagine support services for trade customers that a person can render as a private business person who is into services, professional services, or as an employee who is a banker. So we started discussing day before yesterday, the preamble when we talk about how to define work. And that work is where one receives knowledge. It's not just a way of rewarding know-how, but rather it's where one receives knowledge. And that if you rightly define work, it will help you to be able to know how to live your life. And that if you don't rightly define work, then you are going to find it very, very, very difficult. You're going to find it very, very difficult to be able to know exactly how to be able to live the way you ought to live when you're under work. Because you're going to be living as if you're there to earn an income, and when that income is not coming the way you expect, then you throw all the experiences and the knowledge into the trash, and you block your mind because you feel the organization is not treating you well. Where another that organization have all that it takes for you to be able to excel in future by just learning skill, acquiring skill and knowledge to be able to do other things for yourself. You won't be in that organization forever. And then we went on to talk about some of the problems that importers have, some of the problems that exporters have, and what is causing those problems. Then for the banker, I showed them how to be able to acquire income or deposit from these importers and exporters. Olaliko Kazim, thank you very much for joining. Good morning. And basically, that's what we're trying to do or what we're talking about. So this morning, we'll continue in this conversation. Today, I'll be talking about the programs. You know, for you to acquire this skill, there are numerous trade certifications all over the world that you need to consider. Numerous trade certifications all over the world that you need to consider. Why do you need to consider this numerous trade certification? These numerous trade certifications are so critical and so important because of the value they bring to you. The value they bring to you. This certification help you to prepare for the future of job in Africa. The future of job in Africa is in trade. As Africa begins to wake up for its slumber, as it's being led by the South Africa, the Rwanda, the Kenya, the Ghana, and the like, we're going to have a lot of other African wake up because it's becoming highly imperative for that to happen. And as that happens, we're going to be producing. As we begin to produce, we're going to be exporting. And to produce, also, we might have to import some raw materials, some machineries. So we will need to do more trade, both on the import and on the export side. And if we do that kind of trade, the implication of that is the fact that it's going to help anybody that is having this certification to prepare for future of job in Africa. If you're an employee, it he helps you to position your career for trade job opportunities. If you are a, an, a, a staff of a bank today, as a banker, this will help you to prepare for trade job opportunities. 
Remember the objective of this session. The objective is to talk to entrepreneurs who are into services. As a lawyer, as an accountant or auditor, you are into services. You are rendering services to businesses. Or you are an employee. You are a banker employee looking to raise income and deposit. And I'm saying acquiring skill in a particular area of trade will help you as an entrepreneur and it will help you as a banker. It will help as an entrepreneur because as an entrepreneur, you'll be able to render support services to people. Hano Tinja Ibrahim, thank you very much for joining. Good morning and welcome. You'll be able to help you to render support services to businesses. And of course, you generate income. And for the empl employee, it will be able to help you to be able to add value to your employer. Add value to your employer. Add value to your employer by generating deposit and income from trade customers. Then if you acquire this skill, it will help you in planning for uh, a trade career advancement. Trade career advancement. Trade career advancement. Trade can never Trade can never be, can never uh, go out of fashion. Trade has always been and will always be. Most of the world that have been fought in the world are around trade. When nations are having issues, it always revolves more often than not around trade. Even politics are play around trade. So acquiring skill in trade, in addition to whatever skill you currently have, is an advantage. Planning for the for advancement of career in trade. It gives you to show your power, your worth, rather power to show your worth as a trade personnel. When you now have this certification, it showed your worth as a trade personnel. Your worth as a trade personnel. Because a lot of organizations we have to deal in trade, importers trade, exporters trade, manufacturers trade, bankers deal in trade. Almost every business it have one thing or another to do directly or indirectly with trade. So it show it help you to have show your power, your power, your power, your power, your power, your power to show that you are a trade personnel, the work you have in trade. Of course, it projects your career into global relevance because these certification are from abroad. The certification are from America. The certification are from the United Kingdom. It gives you leverage in other parts of the world. If you decide to relocate or you decide to go and work in another part of the world, because this certification is not just African Nigerian certification, it gives you an opportunity to be able to the same skill as a banker, the same skill as an entrepreneur outside Nigeria. Why? Because of the worth of those certifications. If you are a trade person or you are a banker, it, this certification becomes a paper that back your years of experience. If you are a banker, you have handled several trade transactions and you don't have certification, how do you show your worth, your worth of your year of experience? It helps you to what? Um, uh, uh, project, sorry, paper to back your years of experience. Thank God, John. Thank you very much for joining. Good morning and welcome. Then if you are looking for a job or you are trying to change your job, it helps you to package your CV for attraction to the employer. Packaging your CV for more attraction to the employer. The employer see you are being more valuable because of the way you are able to package your CV using this, uh, using this certification. How you are able to package your CV using this certification? It presents your, you present yourself as a valuable trade professional. You present yourself as a valuable trade professional. You present yourself as a very valuable trade professional. Very important. It helps you to present yourself as a very valuable trade professional. It helps you also to perfect, to perform excellently in your trade career. So you are now able to perform excellently in your trade career. If you start this, you have the certification, you have to perform excellently in your trade career. It helps you to be perennially relevant in the trade job market. I told you about the fact that trade it's what the world will always do. Trade is what the world will always do. Trade is what the world will always do. Trade is what the world will always do. We don't have a choice. We must trade. We don't have a choice. We must trade. 
So trade is what our world will always do. Because the world we have to trade at all time, you become very relevant. Because of your trade skill, you become very relevant. Because of your trade skill, because you can add value to importers, you can add value to the exporter, you can add value to the bank, you can add value to the trade process. If you're a lawyer, you have huge opportunity within the trade space in drafting contract, in helping people make sense of some of these agreements that government sign, and how they can benefit from it. Even in litigation on trade rules in the banks. And lastly, you're able to penetrate competitive job market as an employee. I've just basically talked about some of the benefits. What are these trade certifications? What are these trade certifications? Number one, there's something called the Certified Basic Trade Professional. Certified Basic Trade Professional. Now, for you to come in and have a solid foundation in trade, you need to have some, so you need to do a course that helps you make sense of different areas of international trade. As it relates to Nigeria, Africa, and other parts of the world. The whole essence of the certified basic trade professional is to help you make sense of international trade in the world. Why do nations trade? What is the trend of trade around the world? How has trade helped nations? What are the benefits of trade? What are the challenges of trade? How do nations survive without trade? What do nations trade in? What is the most traded product or commodity in the world? Who are the largest exporting country? Who are the largest importing country? Why are they so keen and critical about and interested in about trade? What have they done to make them trade giant? How can developing country model and learn from them? Talking about trade skill, trade skill, trade skill. Certified basic trade professional. Provide basic information about trade. It also introduces you to international trade finance. It gives you a sense of finance in trade. Pre-import finance, pre-post-import finance, pre-export finance, post-export finance. Different tools that can be used in finance. As a matter of fact, it introduces to trade finance instruments. Certified Basic Trade Professional is a certification from the American Institute of Extended Studies. They are deploying this certification in Nigeria to be able to empower anybody. Because basic is for anybody. You are a lawyer, you are a doctor, you are an uh, engineer, you are whatever it is you do. But you want to have an understanding of how trade works. Because you are global in your thinking. You know what? If you are, a, you are in any profession, any profession, but you are global in your thinking, you need certified basic trade professional if you are in any profession and i mean any profession but you have you are global in your thinking and you must be global in your thinking you shouldn't allow the mediocrity of your environment to hinder you from manifesting all over the world you are the light of the world not the light of your room you can be a light to other parts of the world. You can provide solutions to their challenges. Why do you want to just remain in Nigeria? Why don't you want to have presence outside Nigeria? If you are global in your thinking, I recommend for you the Certified Basic Trade Professional. If you are global in your thinking, I recommend for you Certified Basic Trade Professional. It doesn't matter the background you have. What you want to do is to make sense of how trade happens in the world. How do I trade my services? How do I trade my product? How do I begin to think globally? Why must people think that they must do business only in Nigeria? Why are we not thinking of doing business outside Nigeria? You know why? Comfort and convenience in this part of the world is victory sign over the enemy. When someone has been able to make money, he can go abroad for summer, 
He's living in Harbra area in Nigeria. He's driving Jeep. He can pay all his bills. He thinks he has arrived. And because he thinks he has arrived, he's not thinking of any other important thing and ideal things in life. Because of the mediocrity of our environment. Guys, you need to be global in your thinking. Thank you very much for joining. Good morning. Chike Modi, thank you very much for joining. Good morning, you are welcome. Be global in your thinking. Why do we just think? And, 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 because, and this also is also the reason why we really are not growing trade. Because we're not global in our thinking. Someone is doing fantastic business, he's into uh, fashion, for example. Fantastic business. If you see the quality of what he's producing, he's not thinking of export at all. Someone is working in an organization as an accountant. And he's not thinking that, look, why can't I practice my skill outside Nigeria? Why is it that I must do everything in this, in this country? What opportunity do I have outside Nigeria? Why can't I begin to think of global certifications? Um, especially as regards trade, trade, trade. I'm thinking about trade because you can trade in goods, you can trade in services. You can trade in goods, you can trade in services. And you must begin to think, how do I penetrate the Kenya market as, a, as an accountant? How do I penetrate the Kenya market as a, a, a lawyer? What do I need to begin to do to perform, to do my service outside Nigeria? And some of the things you learn as a trade person is the entry strategy, the market entry strategy. You must know how to conquer different markets. You must be global in your thinking. We should not allow the mediocrity of our environment to keep us down. And that, sincerely for me, is the beauty of the certified basic trade professional. It makes you to begin to think globally. It makes you begin to render services globally. It makes you to be able to, to begin to um, sell your products globally. You want to begin to sell products abroad. Sell your services abroad. Why? Global in your thinking. Why? Certified basic trade professional. Certified basic trade professional. You must begin to think of how you can help yourself to grow. These are certification programs that, I mean, it's just about $400. $400 is what some people will squander within, uh, even drinking beer over a weekend. Can you imagine? Some people will squander that drinking beer over a weekend. It's not even enough for what some people use to just, to, to, to spend the weekend. I mean, you know, it's so interesting how we enjoy ourselves as human beings, which is great to treat yourself, but the brain that you are using to generate that resources is not being developed. And people are not thinking beyond the mediocrity of their environment. Guys, you need to be global in your thinking. Think of certification programs that can help you. And when I, that's why I tell people that when you finish school, people that just finish school, that look, Anything you want to do, ensure you do it outside Nigeria. If you have a first class in Nigeria, what does it mean to have a first class in Tokyo? What does it mean to have a first class in, in Germany? What does it mean to have a first class in China? What do people that have first class like you doing in that environment? That's why you can't allow the mediocrity of your own degree here to keep you. Begin to think of global certification that will make you to begin to think at the same level with your peers in other parts of the world. Be global in your thinking. Be able to rub shoulder with your peers around the world by acquiring trade certification. Ajakai Ebijoke, thank you very much for joining. Good morning. Certified basic trade professional. Certified basic trade professional. This is a trade professional that is going to help you to begin to think globally, to begin to render services outside Nigeria. Now, for the people that I'm primarily talking to, man, the, uh, the, the entrepreneur rendering services and bankers who are uh, supporting, uh, who are uh, looking for deposit and income target, by acquiring this skill, for the entrepreneur, you are global in your thinking, you are rendering services outside Nigeria, but for um, the banker, you are helping your customer to begin to seek for market abroad, even though you also are helping you to think globally. When you begin to think globally, then you add value to your customer, making your customer to also be able to think globally. Why? Because of the value. Certified basic trade professional. 
This is designed for individuals, individuals with little or no experience in trade. You don't need to know anything about trade to do certified basic trade professional. You don't need to know anything about trade. You just need, basically, to have a tertiary education, be it polytechnic or university, so you can have a good, so you can comprehend the conversation. What you will need is comprehension of the conversation. What we need is comprehension of the conversation. What we need is comprehension of the conversation. And that's all you need to be able to join, to register for the cyber based professional. By the way, they have a center in Nigeria, and the center is right here in Lagos, Street Investment Trade Center. And a new class is starting in the month of March. So in the month of March, there will be admission for a new batch. So if you are interested, you have friends that might be interested, then you want to chat us or call us. You have our number already. You can call us on our number 009-124-4449. Certified basic... Yes, thank you very much. Ade Shimari Wale, certified basic trade professional. Yes, it's $400. Certified basic trade professional. Like I said, we need to be global in our thinking. We need to understand the fact that the fact that you are doing a service in Nigeria does not mean you can't render that service as a Nigeria. The reason why you are not thinking you can render that service as a Nigeria, the reason why you are thinking you can't do that product as a Nigeria, because you are not thinking of global trade. Why will you not be able to earn in dollars? Why can't you earn in euro or pounds? Why can't you render your services as a Nigeria? You can export your services. You can export your product. You can export your services. You can export your product. Certify basic trade professional. It's designed for anyone. You don't need to have any background in trade at all. You just need to have a tertiary education. Like I said, you need to be global in your thinking. That's the primary thing. Primary thing. Primary thing. You need to be global in your thinking. You need to, if you're an accountant, that is great. If you're an architect, that is great. If you're a, a, a lawyer, that is great. If you're a professional rendering services, that is great. You are the one that needs it. Because when you begin to think globally, you need to begin to ask yourself, okay, how can I begin to sell my services outside Nigeria? How can I sell my service in Ghana? How can I sell my service in Tokyo? How can I sell my service in the US? How can I sell my service at least in Africa, first of all? And some of us have relationships in all these places because by virtue of your training, you actually have relationships in all these places. You go there for summer, you go there for holiday, you go there for other reasons. But you just don't think that you can render service to them or that you can sell products in this environment. So Survival Based Professional introduce you to export documentations. In fact, there is a particular course, a topic, under Certified Basic Trade Professional. It's called Becoming Independent, Indispensable Trade Specialist. Becoming Indispensable Trade Specialist. That's a particular topic under a course under that uh, certification program. And the idea of that certification program is to be able to help you to think, how do you become indispensable? How do you create value beyond Nigeria to other parts of the world? How do you create value at a level that people want to deal with you? How do you create such level? I mean, such, such a value. How do you go about it? Certify basic trade professional. Certify basic trade professional. Certify basic trade professional. You need to be able to develop capacity to solve problems for customers. Remember, yesterday we were talking about the fact that when you develop yourself, you acquire skill. With skill, you build competence. When you are competent, you solve problems. When you solve problems, you create value. When you create value, you attract wealth. Friday, Asakpa, thank you very much for joining. Good morning and welcome. When you train and develop yourself, you acquire skill. Skill, I can do it. Skill, I can do it. With skill, you build competence. Competence, I have done it. Competence, I have done it. With competence, you solve problems. When you solve problems, you create value for the person you solve problems for. When you create value, you attract wealth. Amavi Ajavon, thank you very much for joining. Good morning. You solve problems, you attract wealth. So as an entrepreneur, when you, develop, when you acquire trade skill, 
via the certified basic trade professional, you are able to acquire skill to solve problems for importers and exporters. So if you're an accountant, the way you begin to look at the books of your customer will be different. The way you are going to be able to advise your customer will be different. In fact, as an accountant, you can now begin to pursue import customer, export customer to help them with their books, to advise them properly because you're an accountant and you understand trade. I think it's interesting how you are combining this skill. How you are combining this skill. For an accountant, I already have skill in accounting. And, my, and, I, and I want to market trade customers. I have skill in accounting and I need more customers. So I acquire skill in trade to market trade customers. So I can then advise them appropriately as a certified trade professional and a chartered accountant. As a certified trade professional and a chartered accountant, I can then advise my customers correctly. It's interesting how you can advise your customers. It's interesting the value you can give these customers. It's interesting how much this customer can benefit from you. You are still auditing them. You are still advising them in accounting why? But now you are looking beyond your accounting because they are called job. The core thing they do is actually trading. They import. What value are you adding to their import business? What value are you adding to their export business? You just come and check their books? You don't think you can do much more? So that at the end of the day, they don't want to leave you. You know why they want to leave you? Because you are giving more than accounting. You are now you are giving more than auditing. You are now giving trade advisory services. And you know what? Because you are an accountant, it feels together very well. You are able to do what I can do. Why? Because I'm not an accountant. But you are an accountant and a trade person. You are creating more value. You are creating more value. You are creating more value. Remember, the certified basic trade professional is for just anybody. You don't need to have a background in trade. So why can't you create value? You know, look, if we don't solve problem of importer and exporter, they will make mistakes. They've been making mistakes and losing money. And because of that, a lot of them are closing shops. But when an accountant is able to advise them, because the accountant is not just an accountant, but it's also a trade professional, you create huge opportunity for them. You make them to see what they are not seeing. You make them to appreciate what they are not appreciating. You make them to experience what they don't even know about. Do you render services for businesses? Do you render advice? Are you a business consultant? You know, there are some people, they are just business consultants. Just business consultants. They are not just accounting, they advise in different areas of the business. But you know what? They can advise correctly an importer and exporter. They are doing well on their job as a, as a business advisory person, but they are limited because of their limited knowledge of trade. They can advise their customer on how to take their business global, even though they are business consultants. They can advise their customer on how to mitigate their risk, even though they are business consultants. They can advise their customer on how to reduce their cost, even though they are business consultants, because they don't have trade skill. So if you're a business consultant, I recommend for you the certified basic trade professional. Yes, someone is asking what the charge. The registration fee is 10,000 naira. Registration fee is 10,000 naira and the, and the tuition is 400 pounds. 400 dollars, sorry. The tuition is 400 dollars. Registration fee is, four, five, is uh, 10,000 naira and the, and the exam itself, the training and the exam itself is 400 dollars. So I'm talking to business people. Are you a, you're, 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 you're a business consultant. You consult for businesses. You advise businesses. You render support services to businesses. A lot of your businesses are importers and exporters. You know, I know a guy who renders services to, I mean, do this kind of stuff. And he, he, he had a brilliant idea. I must give it to him. He had a brilliant idea. And he seems to have a lot of things having to do with pharmacy. You know, there are a lot of, farm, a lot of people importing drugs in Idumota. A lot of people importing drugs in Lagos. And that's where he operates. And he's a brilliant guy. But you know what? 
this guy has not, he is not able to render value to those customers on import and export. He can only help them out to do the marketing locally. Ali, Adolphus Ali, the program is three months. The program is three months. You don't need to, you really do not need to even attend lecture. Lecture is, um, lecture is uh, happen every Saturday. So if you're outside Lagos, the lecture are actually online. In fact, we are putting the lecture on mobile app right now. Before, the, before be, be in the next one or two weeks, you can have the lecture on mobile app. So that means you don't really have to be physically in class, but there will be a WhatsApp group where questions can be asked and discussed. And then, of course, you come to Lagos to write the exam if you're not in Lagos. If you're in Lagos, then you attend your lectures every Saturday, just two hours every Saturday. And it's just for about two to three months. I hope I've added Adolphus Ali. And I've, I've, I've answered the question of Adolphus Ali. So you can go three months. So what I'm trying to say is that you actually can open a new line of business for yourself by just doing consulting services for importer and exporter. You have access to some of these guys already. These guys have huge, big problem, colossal problem that is taking their money away. They don't even have a clue on how to fix it. And I'm saying, are you an accountant? Are you a lawyer? Do you render any support service to businesses? Is that business involved in production? Is that business involved in importing raw materials? Is that business involved in importing or exporting in any way? You can create value for them. And that's why I present to you the certified basic trade professional from the American Institute of Extended Studies. Certified basic trade professional from the American Institute of Extended Studies that can help you to turn your business around. I'm just imagining in my head right now how an accountant who is doing great job as an accountant, who is doing fantastic job as an auditor, will be able to add amazing value to the customer just by understanding the risk in trade and advising the customer. Just by understanding the challenges of trade and advising the customer. Just by understanding the five Ds that destroy trade transactions. The five Ps of export trade customer challenges. And profiling solution at a level. And of course, more money for you because at the end of the day, you charge for your services. You are not just getting the certification for fun. You charge for your services. Are you an accountant? Are you a lawyer? Are you a business guru? You advise amazingly for businesses. You help to take business from where they are to where they want to be. But you have been incapacitated when anything has to do with foreign trade. You have been incapacitated when it has to do with foreign trade. You have been incapacitated when it has to do with importing and exporting. I'm telling you that solution is right here at your doorstep. Solution is right here at your doorstep. Udi Agbala, Vitalis, thank you very much for joining. Good morning and welcome. Solution is right here at your doorstep. Why don't you acquire skill in trade? Add it to your, to the, to, to your, to the, um, to the, uh, what do I call it now? To the, the certification on your belt. To be able to add, add value. Remember, with training, you acquire skill. Through skill, you develop competence. With competence, you solve problems. When you solve problems, you create value. When you create value, you attract wealth. We are passionate about trade in Nigeria. And we know traders have a lot of problems. What we want to do is to solve those problems. We cannot solve the problem alone. We need partners. We need people like you who understand this, who have access to this to be able to solve those problems. If you acquire skill in trade, you are going to increase your services. You are going to begin to render additional services. Now you can tell them we're not just accountants. We also an, an, render advisory services around trade accounting or accounting in trade. I don't know how you will call it. Give it a name. Give it a name. Give it a name that you like. Just a name that you like. But the whole idea is this. You are going to begin to match trade with accounting. You are going to begin to match trade with your legal pro pro profession. You are going to begin to match trade with your exports. Sorry, with your, with your, you're going to my trade with your business advisory services. You're a business consultant. Acquire trade certification, guys. If you're a business consultant, acquire trade certification. This is an amazing opportunity for you to create value for those businesses you're supporting, you're helping. So at the end of the day, we can together grow trade in Nigeria. Like I said, I have access, limited access to people. And there are millions of people in this space in Nigeria. You know them. 
You have access to them. You can create that opportunity for yourself. Business consultant, lawyers, accountant, I'm inviting you to come and join the certified basic trade professionals. It's a three-month course. The exam hold at the end of the program is from the American Institute of Extended Studies. It gives you global relevance. You are solving problems at the higher level for your customer. You are having the customer make sense. Make sense. Make amazing sense of the challenges they have. I'm going to be talking about other programs. There are so many other programs you might be interested in. Uh, in the evening, I will focus on the export. On the export. On the export. In the fact that, look, if you are a business consultant, if you are an accountant, if you are a lawyer, and you can add this certification with your skill, I guarantee you, you're not just going to create more businesses for yourself, for yourself. That's not my goal. My goal is that you are going to help us grow trade. You are going to help us grow trade. You are going to help us grow trade. You are going to be solving problems that I cannot solve because you are going to be making law with trade. You are going to be making your business acumen with trade. You are going to be managing your accountancy skill with trade. You are going to be managing your auditing skill with trade. And you are going to be solving problems for businesses so that they can grow. And then, of course, we can together make Nigeria and African great. And leave this level of just contributing less than 5% of trade in the world as the whole of Africa and grow our trade in Nigeria. Thank you very much for listening to me again today. My name is Dele Aimibo and this is Import Export Platform brought to you by 3T Impest Trade Academy. I'll be with you again in the evening by 6 p.m. And we're going to be looking at the flip side of this and we'll be focusing on export. I'm talking about some certification you can consider on export. Thank you very much for listening. See you in the evening and have a great day at work. Bye for now.